Hey guys, so today I'm going to be comparing this Nikon D5300 with this Canon Rebel T3i. So, the Nikon D5300, I actually recently just bought it. And the reason why I'm outside comparing these two is because the weather is nice out here in Canada. I think it's actually better weather than in California, which is pretty cool. Us Canadians might as well just enjoy it while we can. So, um, yeah, let's start. So, both of the cameras have the same exact lenses. And this one has been set to 18 millimeters, 1 over 60 shutter speed, an aperture of 10, and an ISO of 100. And this is what it looks like against the Canon Rebel T3i. Now if I zoom in 2x here, you may notice that the amount of detail is actually pretty comparable. The only thing I would say is that the Canon Rebel T3i's color interpolation and color processing is a little bit worse. You can see that on the fine edges of the tree branches on there, there are actually color artifacts. Alright, I'm holding the Nikon D5300 in one hand and the Canon Rebel T3i in the other hand. And I am going to try and vlog with two cameras at once. So from here I can already say that the microphone quality on the Nikon D5300 is actually really tinny compared to the microphone quality on the Canon Rebel T3i. So since the Canon Rebel T3i does not have autofocus, it's going to be pretty hard to vlog properly with this. Now the Nikon on the other hand does have autofocus, but it's actually pretty loud autofocus. It's turned off right now, but if I turn it on, you will hear it, which means that I will need an external microphone for this. Now there is a mount on the top of each camera that allows you to add an external microphone to fix the weird noises that come from the lens. Now the next test I did was a rolling shutter test. The rolling shutter effect only happens when there's really fast moving objects in the scene. And the faster the rolling shutter is, the lower the effect you get. And after these extremely scientific tests, I've concluded that the Ucanon Rebel T3i actually has better rolling shutter compared to the Nikon, but it's probably more likely that it's user error. Alright, so the next test I'm going to be running is the bitrate test. Now I am cheating with the Nikon a little bit because I have applied the 64 megabits per second video hack. And this test is similar to the one that Corridor Crew ran. So with the Canon T3i, no matter if there's motion or not, the bitrate of the video stays at around 45 megabits per second. But the Nikon camera with the video hack, when there's not a lot of motion in the video, it stays around 40 megabits per second. But then when there's lots of motion in the video, the bitrate goes up to around 60 megabits per second. And you can see the difference. As you can see, when I freeze frame the shaking, you can see that there is lots of compression on the Canon Rebel T3i. The Nikon is actually a lot better because of the higher bitrate. It gives it an advantage. Alright, so the next comparison is going to be a quality setting comparison. So the Canon Rebel T3i records at only up to 1080p at 30fps, and at around 40 megabits per second as you saw earlier. But the Nikon D5300 records at up to 1080p at 60fps, and has the ability to record at up to 60 megabits per second. Now you may be thinking, 1080p 60? That's not a lot, my phone can do 4K 60. But the reality is, there is a lot more that goes into a good image other than the resolution, such as the dynamic range, the lens, the sharpness, the color science, the codec, and a lot more. So yeah, and this phone can do 4K 30, but the bitrate is actually locked at around 40 megabits per second, the same as the Canon Rebel T3i. And besides, can your camera do this? Now sure, you may have three lenses on your camera like this phone does. Having these three tiny lenses and having three tiny camera sensors behind them is not as good as just having one decently sized camera sensor that picks up more light and also allows for that nice professional looking blurry background. Alright, so I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye!